What is going on guys, Relapse here today, and today I'm bringing you guys another Premier League episode where we go through, today we're just going to be talking about the results of week two, I'm here with Matthew, say what up Matthew. What's up? So we're going to be going over our predictions that we made, we're going to see how we did, and then we're going to talk about each game, maybe like who scored and all that, and then, so let's get right into that. Okay. okay, so the first match was Swansea versus Man United. Matthew had guessed Swansea, right? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. We both chose Man United. And so Man United basically destroyed Swansea. Romelu Lukaku scored a goal. Paul Pogba, Anthony Martial, Eric Bailey. Everybody, everybody getting in on the action. What's your thoughts on that game, Matthew? Like, complete destruction. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was for complete destruction, but Pogba finally got a goal. In the start of the season, it's great. Yeah, so Pogba's scoring. He's not garbage. Okay, so next up we have Southampton versus West Ham United. I really did think West Ham United was going to pull out a win. I thought they were going to be get back in it. Chicharito was going to just come through. I mean, Chicharito, he scored two goals, not going to lie. He, he's doing everything he can for his team. So I chose West Ham United. You chose West Ham too, right? Yeah. So, and Southampton won. Just... To let you guys know and uh so who else scored for southampton uh we had milo i can't even pronounce that dusan tadic uh and charlie austin don't know any of those guys but they freaking beat west ham united what's your thoughts on that matthew uh, i thought it was pretty bogus that uh, west ham lost in penalties i thought it should have been intro i think it's pretty bogus wait west it was three to two they didn't lose in penalties no uh there was a last minute penalty Oh, okay. Um, it was in the third minute. 93rd minute. So, Chicharito doing everything he can for his team, but just cannot come out with the win. Probably a very frustrating day for him. And, I mean, he probably doesn't care, honestly, as long as he's getting the money and scoring goals, I guess. Next up is Leicester City versus Brighton and Hub Albion. Albion, new to the league, uh, still winless. Uh, they lost 2-0 to Leicester City. James Vardy did not score this time. Shing Okazaki scored, and Harry Maguire. What's your thoughts on that, Matthew? Uh, Leicester won. Okay. <laughs> Nobody cares about Leicester anymore, to be honest. Okay, so we both got a point for that. Uh, we both chose Leicester. Yeah, we both chose Leicester winning, right? Uh, yeah, I think so. Oh, and I think I forgot to say, and we both chose West Ham to win in the last one. We both got that one wrong. So we both have two points right now. Next, we have Liverpool versus Crystal Palace. Liverpool did pull out with a 1-0 victory over Crystal Palace, just barely. But in the 73rd minute, Sadio Mane managed to score the goal for Liverpool and take the win. Matthew, you're a Liverpool fan. How do you feel about that win? I feel pretty good. Crystal Palace could have won it uh, with Benteke's miss, but they also could have drawn without that defensive error that they made in the last 25 minutes. Yeah, that that would have sucked if you guys just went and lost to Crystal Palace. <laughs> okay, next up we have... Okay, I forgot again to say we both chose... Wait, what did... Uh, I just, we both chose Liverpool to beat Crystal Palace, so we both have another point. It's 3-3. Three to three. Next, we have AFC Bournemouth versus Watford. What did, You chose a draw, right? Yeah. Okay, so Matthew took a draw. I took Watford winning. Watford did win, so I got a point. I'm up 4-3, to three, I think, now. So Watford won 2-0. I don't even know any of these guys, to be honest. Rich Arlison and Itenny Kapow. I'm sorry if I'm butchering those names, but what's your thoughts on that win, Matthew? First of all, it's Kapu. Kapu. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, I, I really expected it to be a draw by Watford. They're looking pretty good so far this year. Honestly, I don't really know any of the players on Watford, but I just... See, they're not terrible. I know that. That's all I know. Next up, we have yeah, Burnley versus West Ham, West Ham Bromwich Albion. Uh, I chose Burnley because they upset Chelsea the other day. Matthew, you chose who? Huh? I who chose... Who? Burnley. Burnley, okay. So we both chose Burnley, and we both took the yell on that. So it's still 4-3 to three in the scoring. And who scored for West Ham? It was Hal Rob, Robus, Robson Kanu, right? <laughs> Robson Kanu. I've heard of him before. I have heard of him before. What's your thoughts on that victory? 
Uh, yeah, it's pretty good how Robson Kanu coming through after the uh, the Euros for for Wales. Yeah. Next up, Stoke City versus Arsenal. Arsenal took the upset. I think we both chose Arsenal to win, right? Yeah. So Arsenal did lose to Stoke City. Hesse scored the goal because he's a freaking beast. He's like, Stoke City's taking this dub today. What was up with the freaking Arsenal offense? I I have no idea. They just Uh, were taking a nap on the bench or something? Yeah, maybe they put Giroud in. (laughs) <laughs> so next up Huddersfield Town versus Newcastle United I took a draw in this and Matthew chose Huddersfield he ended up getting it right 1-0 win for Huddersfield Aaron Mui I don't know how to pronounce that you can talk now about this victory <laughs> well it was a great victory for Huddersfield Town oh yeah it's pretty good you're just happy you got the point <laughs> okay so next up Tottenham Hotspurs versus Chelsea. It was a 2-1 to win for Chelsea. I predicted a Chelsea win. Chelsea was struggling, so not surprised you did pick Tottenham because Tottenham is not a terrible team. So what's your thoughts on that uh, law, or loss for Tottenham? Uh, I don't know. I just feel like they should have done better offensively. Marcos Alonso scoring two goals. Dang. At, from the left-back position, too. And... Batshuayi scored an own goal, so I guess Batshuayi scored a goal too. <laughs> and then, last but not least, we have my team, Man City versus, frick, I forgot it there for a second, Everton. Uh, like we said in last episode, Wayne Rooney came through, he got the first goal of the game, and then we got, um, I forget who it was, but one of the players got a, two bookings pretty quick and for Man City and got out of the game. And then Schneiderlin got a booking as well, and then we Man City scored a goal to tie it, and it was a draw. So what's your thoughts on those? You predicted it perfectly, Matthew. Oh, perfectly. Well, I feel like Everton is just a, a good team to pick for draws. They just draw all the time. Yeah, I feel like they're a team who could just draw. I mean, <laughs> they'd have to play some pretty bad people to take the dubs. Like, when yeah. they're playing a good team, they can get a draw. When they're playing bad teams, they'll probably have a better chance of winning. But Wayne Rooney, he's doing everything he can for Everton to just keep them in it this season, I guess. And so that's going to be it for this video, guys. Um, Matthew, it, oh yeah, I have to say it's 5-5 five to five, um, in this competition. So we're tied. So nobody has an advantage week one. So you got anything you want to say? Nope. Okay, so that's going to be it for this video, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy. Make sure you do subscribe to check out the next one. The next one will be week three predictions, which will be coming out before week three. Probably uploaded Friday or Thursday around there. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please leave a thumbs up. Subscribe to see more of my content. And like always, guys, I will see you in my next video. Peace.